Hey, this is an update to a video I did a little while back. Um, I'm updating this because basically the software has changed a little bit and I've also found another method that's quite handy. Um, software is called MKV Tool Nix and it's going to allow you to split an MP4 or an MKV file, possibly some other containers, I haven't really tried them, but it's going to split it so you don't need to re-encode it, which is a very, very quick process. It's just the time it takes to write the file to your hard drive. So you can get the software from here. I'll put a link in the video description. And if you just scroll down to where it says Windows, from here we're going to go to FOSS, this link here to download from FOSS Hub and from here I'm using this portable 64-bit version there's also a 32-bit version which you can probably also follow along with from here if you expand the download you'll get this folder inside there there's a GUI or a GUI EXE file if you open that I've got some footage here that I recorded using Shadow Play that's an MP4 file I'm just going to drag that into the input window there you can see I've got two streams there H264 and AAC and if you want to split at a specific time I've got some split options here one of them is after specific time codes so in here uh, if I mouse over there you can see you can split after hours minutes and seconds or even nanoseconds so if you wanted to split after no hours say one minute and say 10 seconds you'd write that and then a comma and the other end if you want to split again so no hours say two minutes um, and say in another 10 seconds. It's going to split the file in those places. But there's another method also that I've been uh, looking at, which is after the frame or field number. So if I just open that footage up, I'm using Pop Player here. So if I just skip to a head in the video somewhere, if I push Tab, I can actually get the frame number, which is 865. So in here, I can put in 865, and then further in the video, down here somewhere, frame 2607. So I can put in 2607. Then I click Start MUX, and that's going to start splitting the file. It takes a few seconds. So this, there's three files here. The first one is from the beginning of the video to frame 865, so I don't want that. This one is the bit that I wanted. That's from frame 865 to 2607. And this last one here is from frame 2607 to the end of the video. And if I just open that up, make sure it works, which it does. Nothing that exciting going on there, just a bit of GTA. So basically it works really really well, it's really really quick, the only disadvantage is it's gone from an MP4 to an MKV. There's no encoding taking place, so the two streams from the beginning, the H.264 and AAC, they're still inside that file. Now I did another video a little while back which um, shows you how it can get those streams back out of the MKV into the MP4 file called Kirara. I'll put a link on the screen now. And also I'll put a uh, link in the video description to that video as well, so you can follow that if you want to uh, convert it back. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, or if you'd like to see more of this sort of thing, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.